Two black subjects were last seen running down Lawrence Ave. Keep your hands where you can see him, empty your pockets. You don't touch him! Excuse me? Okay, all right, all right, enough. Let's go, come on. The movie is set in the 1990s in Canada, where we see two brothers, Francis and Michael, hanging in a grid station. The brothers live alone with their single mother, Ruth. Francis is the older brother and teaches Michael how to climb an electrical tower to get a better view of the city. The movie shifts back and forth throughout the lives of these brothers. Ten years later, in the present, we see Michael reuniting with his childhood crush, Aisha. Michael takes her to his home, where we see Ruth, who doesn't talk that much now. Aisha's father recently passed away, and she needs a place to lay low. It is revealed that Francis has passed away as well, and Michael now lives alone with his mom. Now we see the childhood of Francis and Michael. Their mom is working a full night shift, so she tells them to eat their food on time and locks them inside so they don't leave. After she leaves, the boys sneak out, and at night, they almost walk in front of a car. Moving forward, we see the boys in their teenage years, attending college. Francis is the famous cool kid taking carpentry classes, and Michael is a shy kid. After classes, Michael heads home, but Francis's friends call him and start bullying him. Francis arrives with his friend, Jelly, and stops them. He sends Michael home, and we see the boys in childhood again. They are in a store where Michael sees Aisha with her father and falls in love with her. Now, a teenage Michael walks in the same store and sees a teenage Aisha. Later that day, Michael hangs with Francis, who gifts him a magazine. Francis teaches Michael to never let anyone disrespect him and confesses that he wants to drop out of college and get into music. The next day, Michael approaches Aisha in the college library. They get to know each other, and Aisha reveals her dad is Jamaican, and her late mom was Portuguese. She reveals both her parents were low-class immigrant workers. Michael reveals his mom's Jamaican, but he has never met his dad. Michael heads home and sees Francis's friends beating up someone and threatening him to stay away from their neighborhood. After they leave, Michael approaches the beaten guy, but he's a crazy person who starts laughing. Back in childhood, Michael and Francis see a news report of black men robbing a store, so Michael gets scared and Francis barricades the door with a chair. In the morning, the boys hear someone trying to break in their house, but it's just their mom who's returning from her work. Francis looks out for his mother because he's the oldest son. He served his mom in his childhood and in his youth. He decides to head out, but Ruth forces him to take Michael with him as well. Francis angrily refuses and heads out. He heads to Desiree's, the local Jamaican barbershop where Francis and his friends hang out. Francis and Jelly work there, practicing their DJ skills. The next day, Francis fails in his carpentry class and quits college. He heads home, and his mom slaps him for quitting, so he starts working in a hardware store. One day, Michael brings home Aisha because his mom and Francis are at work. They talk about Francis's music taste while Francis is returning home. On his way, he fixes Goose's bike, a little girl in their neighborhood. He enters his home and walks in on Michael and Aisha. Francis and Aisha discuss their similar music taste, and after she leaves, Francis and Michael await their mother for dinner. Ruth returns home, but doesn't dine with the boys because she's still upset with Francis. Later, Francis reveals to Michael that he's leaving home. Michael asks if he's abandoning them, but he reveals he's just moving out of their house and he'll keep on sending them money. At night, they head home and notice a couple of guys arguing while one of them is armed. The argument gets violent and a guy gets shot, who happens to be Francis's friend, Anton. Michael takes Francis and they run away. Back in the present, Ruth's mental health is getting worse because of Francis's passing and Michael is bearing the consequences. He informs her about Aisha, who's staying with them for a while because her dad recently passed. Later, Michael gets ready for work but overhears his mom calling emergency services to search for Francis. Michael reminds her that Francis is dead and comforts her. He heads to work, and back in the past, we see little Michael being afraid to sleep. So, the boys come up to their mother and reveal that Michael is scared of criminals he saw on the news, so Ruth assures her boys that they are safe in their home. The family goes for a picnic next day, while in the present, Michael is now working at Francis's job. In the past, we see Michael and Francis running away from the police after they witnessed Anton getting shot. The police forcefully arrest them and later drop them at their home. The officer informs their mom that her boys are innocent, but witnesses to a shooting altercation. He also mentions a little girl who got shot in the crossfire inside her house. 
The family heads home, and Francis starts packing his stuff while Ruth angrily questions where he's going. Francis doesn't answer and mistakenly hurts her. He leaves, and Michael puts Ruth to bed. The next day, Michael heads to Aisha's house and hangs with her. Aisha reveals Goose was the girl who got shot last night, but she survived. Michael tells Aisha about Francis, so she suggests visiting him. They both hug and afterward see a cop questioning the street boys. Aisha gets upset and breaks the window of the cop car. In the present, Aisha now chats with Ruth and talks about her dad. She also mentions working in Kampala, which brightens up Ruth because she's also from Africa. In the past, little Francis and Michael find picture of their dad and wonder where he is. Back in the present, Aisha suggests holding a light gathering for Ruth because she is becoming very unstable. Michael is against the idea, believing more company might be dangerous for his mom. In a flashback, we see both brothers climbing the electric tower, but Michael is afraid. Flash forward to the present day. Goose informs Michael that she saw their mom heading to the valley, barefoot. Michael and Aisha quickly head out to fetch Ruth and help her wear shoes. Later that day, Michael eats a little snack and uses tinfoil to cover their window from heat. In the evening, Ruth returns from work and gets upset with the foils in Michael's living condition. In anger, she throws a jar at Michael, but misses. She sits down in despair and forgets about attacking Michael. Back in the past, Michael now visits Francis at Desiree's after he left them. Francis takes the car keys from Jelly and takes Michael grocery shopping. Afterward, they both eat dinner while Francis teaches Michael how to fix his appearance and how to be confident. Francis reveals he found out where their dad lives and decides to take Michael with him. Michael is nervous, but agrees on meeting him. They arrive at their dad's building and tell him their names on the buzzer, but their dad denies knowing them and doesn't let them in. They both feel humiliated and leave. Francis drops Michael and leaves. Michael heads to Aisha's house and talks about his dad. Aisha suggests asking Ruth about his dad, but Michael doesn't want to bother her. Aisha takes Michael to her room and kisses him while Francis returns to Desiree's. It is revealed that Francis is gay and dating Jelly. Jelly comforts him as Francis cries because of his dad. Back in the present, Michael returns from work and sees Jelly with Ruth. Aisha explains that she invited him, and Ruth is listening to songs with him. Michael meets Jelly, but he's a little upset. The next morning, Aisha and Jelly cook with Ruth, but Michael feels sick and heads out. He remembers the time when he was waiting at the bus stand with Francis when a couple of thugs started to harass them. The thug pulls out his knife, but Francis grabs it and intimidates the thug. The thug scares off, but Francis's hand is bleeding. Back in the present, Michael returns home to a party house full of people dancing. Aisha explains she invited her friends for Ruth's sake, and Ruth is enjoying it, but Michael gets angry and yells at everyone to leave his house. He forcefully takes Ruth to her room and puts her to bed. After everyone leaves, Michael chats with Aisha. Aisha reminds him that her parents and Michael's mom are immigrants who worked hard all their lives in the lower class just for their kids. Later, Jelly joins them, and Michael apologizes for his behavior. Back in the day, we see Michael and Aisha heading into the Desirea for a party. They both are dating now, and Francis is hosting the party. While dancing, their party gets interrupted by the cops. The cops reveal a nearby bar got robbed by two black men, and so they are searching the area. They asks everyone to line up for a search, and they all comply except for Francis, who can't tolerate their racism. Eventually, he agrees, and the cops find nothing on them, so they leave. Later, they all head to a club. Jelly and Francis want to become music producers, so they are auditioning at a club for a famous promoter. Jelly and Francis perform, and the promoter gives them a standing ovation. Francis asks if they won the competition, but the producer doesn't answer, and calls in the next contestant. Jelly and Francis are upset, but their friends try to cheer them. Francis realizes the promoter doesn't have their contact, so he lied. He decides to head back in, but the guards stop him. Francis gets into a fight with them, and Michael also gets hit. They hold Michael down as he sees Francis getting beat by the security. In the present, Ruth wakes up early and leaves the house. Later, Aisha wakes Michael and informs him that Ruth had an accident. Back in the past, Michael brings wounded Francis home where he apologizes to his mom for everything. Ruth fetches rubbing alcohol from the washroom, while Francis sneaks out again. Michael finds him and takes him to Desiree's. There, Jelly and his friends try to calm Francis, but Francis gets angry at them and calls them losers. Meanwhile, cops enter their shop again, this time looking for a suspect who was in a fight nearby. They see Francis's wounds, so they ask everyone to line up and show their IDs. 
Francis denies to cooperate and asks why they are treating them like criminals. He moves close to them, so a cop shoots him. The next day, his family holds a funeral for him, where Michael sees his father, who disappears soon after. At home, Ruth wears Francis's jacket and cries. Michael returns home and finds Ruth destroying everything with a hammer. He takes her hammer and comforts her. Later, Aisha visits them to check on Ruth. She reveals the cop's shooting is considered lawful, while everyone at Desiree's has left. Michael sends her off and tends to his mother. Back in the present, a nurse informs Michael that Ruth is alive and sustained minor injuries. Michael meets her and sits beside her, holding hands. Back at home, he listens to Francis's music as Ruth eats and dances with Aisha and Jelly. Michael dances with Ruth, and we see both brothers in the past, finally sitting at the top of the towers, and the movie ends here.